Hello everybody, got another video request. And if you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Greetings, Captain. My name is so-and-so, and I have a 23-year-old guy seeking your advice on how I should go about fixing up my life. To update you on my current situation, there are basically three events that led up to where I am now, which is which are, I dropped out of college twice. I was majoring in studio and studio art and Japanese in a college career spanning 2.5 years. I realized both were really useless, the classes were a joke, and stopped attending. I have $12,000 to repay in loans. I was evicted from my apartment nine months. My job working for the zoo at the time closed during the winter season. I, <coughs> wait, dude, you... How the fuck didn't you know that your job was going to be ending? It was a seasonal job, was it? Was it a seasonal job? And you, How do you not know? You're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. I've never gotten evicted out of an apartment. I always made sure I had enough money that in case something ran out, like, I understand it's hard to save up that kind of money, but I did it, and I did it on very little money. You just, what, you just, you didn't have a job lined up for when the season came and the zoo closed? All right, truthfully, if that's the case, you're a fucking idiot, and you got to get more intelligence. That's what that's the first point right there. So stop being a fucking idiot. I was unsuccessful with finding another gig in time. <clears throat> I hope you tried hard. I would have been trying every fucking day, and I'm now left with $5,000. Wait a minute. $5,000 to repay the landlord? What were you paying in rent? Nine months. What the hell are you paying in rent? Is that nine? Hang on, let's do this. Five thousand divided by nine. Five fifty-five. Okay, that's pretty good. If if I did the math right, that's okay. All right, then you are paying pretty cheap rent. <clears throat> but dude, you didn't save up enough money to like cover in the next month or two. All right, I got injured from working two full-time jobs during the summer in order to buy a cheap car for cash, but I was scamming off the three thousand. <laughs> I saved from a guy at a, my job that I didn't know well, wasn't an official car dealer, and took my money. Well, who the fuck is he? Find him, track him down. You can find him on Google and Facebook. Get the cops involved. I have approximately $2,000 in medical bills and still no car to speak of. Do you have car, Do you have health insurance? I mean, really, these are the questions. I, I can't help you. I can't fix stupid. I can yell at you and berate you for being stupid and guilt trip you and shame you into getting smart. But I cannot fix stupid if you're going to be willingly this dumb. So in total, I have close to $20,000 in debt to repay, <clears throat> and currently I share an apartment with my best friend. I'm holding a job that pays $10 an hour as a janitor. Okay, there you go. All right, uh, you should be able to save some money that way. Obviously, you can see I already messed up, but I want to pay my dues so I can actually enjoy my life. Okay, that's a good man. You're on the right track. I've already read your book, Worthless at Bachelor Pad Economics. However, the main problem is that I have no particular specific skills or knowledge with which to negotiate higher pay for my time. I think that my only options are to get another part-time job to work on weekends to heckle my debts. Yeah, that's about the only thing you can do. Work on some sort of entrepreneurial endeavor in my spare time to gain my independence. Ah, uh, you you pay off your debt. If you can, let's let's focus on making rent before you become a businessman, okay, shall we? I'm, I'm being deadly serious. You just could piss away your time and what little money you don't have wasting on some stupid idea that you thought was going to be dumb, all right? You got to learn to be a fucking adult and pay your goddamn bills first before you even even set foot in the world of entrepreneurs. Uh, and to once again go back to college and put my nose to the grindstone to gain specific knowledge and skills to master in STEM that I'll actually pay off. All right, I've already considered the military and the construction trades in the past but I've decided that neither are neither are options I'm willing to pursue. Well, you may have they may be your best option. What do you mean they're not you're you're not willing to pursue? Are they beneath you? Is it is that take sound like a lot of work? What do you think fucking majoring in engineering is going to be? Considering what I like and a basis for moving forward, my main interests or goals include learning martial arts, gymnastic, and foreign languages, as well as traveling both in and out of the. U what are you a fucking chick? Oh, who the fuck doesn't like to travel? Look, I, <laughs> these aren't, those are your hobbies. Those are your life goals. That's what you get to do after you pay off fucking everything and get to pursue. These are things you get to do when you have a bit of free time. They're not your money, okay? That's not how you're going to make money. However, I've recently discovered new interests in wearable electronics, virtual reality technology, such, such as the Oculus Rift, and this company called Unified Weapons Masters, who are basically working on a high-tech, uh, ill bought 11 body armored suit that would make it possible to MMA like competitions with weapons without people actually getting hurt. I'd like to get involved but I have to start completely from scratch. You're damn right you would. Now I'm going to become a gymnast and I really like traveling. 
I mean, yeah, those are great things, but they're not money, all right? That, that, that's so far gone, dude. That is so far fucking gone. Get rid of your I, dreams of traveling. You're not traveling until you pay your fucking rent. Um, and yeah, getting into that stuff kind of sounds cool, but you're going to have to become an electrical engineer or something like that. I like to get involved and start from scratch. As far as I know, I have no technical abilities. But no, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. Uh, that's the real world telling you you making $10 an hour as a janitor. And that's a fine wage. That's a fine job. I'm definitely willing to learn and work my butt off. I, I, really, are you? Because you couldn't find a job to make rent. I, you, you have no... I mean, uh, spirit is willing, body is weak. You've got to go through with this motherfucker. You have got to get, like, basics together. And then, not only are you not capable of going into entrepreneurship and doing a good go at it, I doubt you're able... If you can't hack it in fucking Japanese... I can understand if Japanese and studio arts is really fucking boring because you have mind on me people. But by God, if you can't make rent, the hell if you're going to make it in a fucking electrical or computer engineering degree. So you need you need to grow the fuck up here and fucking kick ass and take names. No, well, nope. Lock and load, motherfucker. Get ready for four years of fucking hell. Imagine if you didn't fuck up. Imagine if you put the effort into it up front. You wouldn't be operating from this new four years of hell you get to go through at minimum, but you'd go through it without that twenty thousand dollars in debt you owe. See? There, there is no easy way. I wish everyone would realize this. The easy way is the hard way. All these idiot kids think they're going to major in liberal arts. They put nowhere near, over the course of their life, they put nowhere near the effort and strife and pain that electrical engineers, petroleum engineers, and other people who take real jobs and, quote, hard studies up front do. You take the entire life barely making rent, barely affording your kids, having to take out car loans, all that other crap is a is, is, is multiple times the amount of effort and energy. Yeah, they, those engineers put up a lot of a lot of work up front. But then it's it's not cake, but it's a lot easier, a lot less energy and stress. It is the easier way to go engineering. So you better just just get ready and do it, motherfucker. Do not. Do you think it's a good plan? What about attending community college first? Great idea. That's a great fucking idea. Because you'll find out whether you got it. Because uh, if you can't get out of community college, like with the basics and some calculus and some physics and whatever else they're going to have you take for a computer engineering degree, yeah, you're not going to you're not going to hack it in a four year school. Should I still even be considering returning to college at all? Ah, uh, yeah, you should, you should, uh, but not until you get get some of your shit together, man. What, what money are you going to pay for college with? You have food too, um, so I would yeah consider it. Maybe take a couple part time classes at night. Uh, I would consider also like. Um, a trade, like computer networking, or I heaven forbid you become a carpenter. I mean, those people, I don't know, all they do is fucking build houses. I don't, what the fuck, who wants that? Um, plumbing, welding, something. Um, but yeah, you 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 dip, you dip get your, your ducks in order first. Then you dip your toe in the water of community college part-time. Maybe take a class or two that you can afford. And then when you start getting A's and B's consistently, then maybe you can think about going on. All right? Uh, also, ideally, I eventually like to find a good woman to be with and have a child. <laughs> Not only is it hard for the rest of us, for you? <laughs> I, I got scammed out of a car, I couldn't make rent, and I'm living with my buddy. Now, now living with your buddy is okay at 23, I understand that. But down the road, you, 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 why don't you go ask women what they want? And for once, listen to what they want, you know? And see if it ever says, guy who can't make rent, guy who wants to go and travel for a living. They want someone who brings home the bacon or at least supports himself, all right? Um, it's already hard enough if you got game. If It's already hard enough if you're like me. But man, for you. <laughs> and what's sad, you're an MMA, you're in martial arts, so you are probably in great physical shape. Um... And you could, you're probably a good-looking guy, too. That's not your drawback. You have got to become an adult. And, and and what's worse, especially for you, if you can get suckered by a guy for $3,000 for a car, oh, are the women going to fuck you over? Holy shit, you're going to be easy mark for them. And you're going to be emotionally devastated. And you'll be financially ruined. You have got to go through the accelerated program. Start reading some Roycey. Start reading some Roosh. You've got you've got a lot to educate yourself on, and and so I apologize for being so hard, but man, you need several swift kicks in the asses because if you think my kicks in the asses are hard now, wait till you get out there, motherfucker. The women and the shysters and the con are gonna fucking make you mincemeat. 
All right, so toughen up, get your ducks in order, get your ducks in line, start paying off your debts, make it that you have jobs lined up, make sure you have a budget, pay your fucking rent. Shit, there's even an outline in Bachelor Pad Economics for a budget. All right, follow that shit in there, and then, and then, then in a year's time, when, when you got a little stability going on, then start thinking about women and children and wives. All right? Anyway, seriously, best of luck to you. I wouldn't be kicking your ass otherwise. Toodles.